So Digital of Africa uh, program, the objective is to build the capacity of the different sectors in the continent. And our special focus today is in the agriculture and food security. Uh, we have a program now funded by Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research. And the program is aimed at empowering the small-scale farmer to get timely information uh, which he can use or her can use to improve the yields, crop productivity. So using Digital South Africa platform, the farmer can be able to get more information on productivity. The farmer working in an ecosystem together with other institutions like uh, Calro, uh, Kenya Agricultural Research, and also other stakeholders, so as we can have an ecosystem to empower the local farmer on the ground, Manjiko. How do we help the farmers access information on pests and diseases? And then we'll look at the value chain of tomatoes. So what we we did is when we went on the ground, you have to do engagement. So we started by doing interviews with the farmer, stakeholder engagement, so that then you can understand what's on the ground. And one of the things we found out, for example, is out of 53 farmers we interviewed, only two were using the internet to access information. So most of them were still using, or are still using traditional um, means or channels of accessing information, radio and all the other information sources. So I think what we did, because we were trying to help these farmers access information that's already available on the internet, so we started by bringing in, um, working of course, work with the Nakuru County government very closely, so that then we understood what are the key challenges that the farmers face in terms of pests and diseases. And so we got that information from the farm, from, from the county government. And then once we did that, we also worked in partnership with the CalRAW, so that then we can be able to get now the information that is scientifically correct. Eh? So that then now we put that in, a, in an information hub, what you call a, just a screen where the farmers would be able to come and access information on pests and diseases. But that was not enough because we know the average age of our farmer is 60 years, 65 years actually for us in Subukia. So when you look at a 65 year old farmer and telling them come to the screen, they are still very intimidated. So what we started to do is work with the youth. And uh, so the idea for working with the youth was because the youth are very tech savvy, most of them have smartphones and most of them um, are the ones helping their mothers. Some of them are helping their mothers to, to access information, even m -Pesa and what have you. So we started to work with the youth and say to say, how do we link the youth to our program? So we started to use the youth to map the fields of the farmers so that then once you have the youth mapping the fields, then now you're able to now advise the farmers. So we had two tires. So we have the youth with a phone and they have, their, have the farmers on their screens. And then now be, behind the youth, you have the agronomist or the extension officer. So that then they're able to also help the youth to offer either any ad information to the farmer. So that's how we, we had tired the, the, the information. So what we work with the youth is the youth map the farms. Each youth is assigned about 10 to 15, sometimes 20 farmers, based on, on, on the area. And now with that, they have these farms, the fields on their phone, and then now they're able to guide the farmers.